Welcome to the Meusburger technical tip. Of course, you are all familiar with this problem. The surface quality achieved during bending operation is often rather poor due to the sliding friction between the punch and the metal strip. This means that additional complex and time-consuming processing steps have to be carried out, which in turn leads to longer lead times and higher costs for the components. With the E5690 bending unit this problem is a thing of the past. This is because rolling friction occurs between the bending unit and the sheet metal strip, which leads to significantly better surface quality in the bending area and makes the bending unit particularly suitable for functional and visible parts. Where there were once imprints and score marks from the bending unit, there are now flawless surfaces. High quality forming results are achieved even with soft, coated and lacquered materials. An additional advantage is the freely rotatable bearing rollers which provide unlimited strokes. This allows even complex jammer twists to be realized in one stroke. As usual, the 3D data is available for download. The bending unit can easily be inserted into the intended bending punch or the die using the CRD zero point. Position the CRD zero point on the intended corner point of the bending punch or the die and you automatically have the correct position for the bending unit. It is important that the bending unit is inserted at a 45 degree angle. The contour can be provided in the bending punch or the die by wire EDM. Make sure that the contour is manufactured precisely with a G7 tolerance. This is the only way to ensure an optimal fit of the bending unit. After selecting the proper bending unit, it can be easily shortened to the desired size. The roller and the holder must be machined separately by wire EDM. To do this, the retaining clip must be removed. After the bending punch or the die and the bending unit are machined, they can be glued into the recess provided. We recommend the adhesive VBA 2M43 for this. The solvent-free adhesive hardens in the gap and permanently secures the connection against self-loosening. It is vibration and impact resistant and ideal when components have to be removed again with hand tools. Make sure that the adhesive area has been cleaned and degreased beforehand with suitable cleaners such as VCQ10 or VCM20. Then apply the adhesive to the holder and push it into the recess of the bending punch or die. Important! The bending unit must be already assembled when gluing in, otherwise the roller retaining clip cannot be mounted. You can see for yourself how easily and efficient the bending unit can be used. This system can also be easily retrofitted to existing dies, especially when for example a bending punch or die is broken or shows too much wear. So let's zoom it up again. The E5619 bending unit offers the following advantages. Highest surface quality in the bending area due to rolling friction. This reduces or even completely takes away the need for follow-up operations. Unlimited strokes through freely rotatable bearing rolls. High quality forming results even with soft, coated and lacquered materials. One more tip. If you would like the perfect product combination for bending operations, we highly recommend the E5692 bending insert. It can be added in the CRD, machined and glued in exactly like the bending unit.